you clicked on this video seeing my face holding up the Magpie Society, I think you know how this video is going to go. <sighs> Zoe Sug. Zoe Sug. Predominantly known throughout the internet as Zoella, has written partially a new book. I wouldn't say a new book because she didn't write the old one, even though inside it still would let you believe that she wrote um, Girl Online, which was which was ghost written. But that didn't stop her marketing from saying otherwise. But with all that malarkey aside, the fact that Zoella was bringing out a new book and saying that she had written it alongside Amy McCulloch, I, I was just interested um, to read it. Let's see what Zoella can actually bring. Now let let's 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 address the elephant in the room. I'm not the target audience for this book. <laughs> Nevertheless, I've read it from this cover to this cover. I've read the entirety of the Magpie Society one for sorrow, very sad vibes. And indeed we start off with a sad vibe. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if I'm gonna get through this smoke laughing. We probably start off with the most patronizing of first sentences. Um, kids at this boarding school, and we'll, we'll talk about the boarding school a little bit later, have gone to a party where they all turn their phones off. They all want to um, experience the moment as it is. They want to they want to they want to be there. They don't want any photos. Um but um someone however that that the, however this moment is ruined when popular girl Lola washes up onto the beach dead with a with a with a magpie tattooed on her. It actually turns out to be Sharpie later on, and it's a bit like, why did you tell us it was tattooed? Probably would have washed off in the sea. Anyway, so yes, swept up onto the beach, Lola, and the, the police arrive, and they, they, they're wondering, surely someone would have had their phones on them, um, and we open up with, uh, this is the third sentence. Kids don't go anywhere without their mobile phones, they said. You expect us to believe you would snap faced it or insta book it or whatever it is your kids do these days at the end of term party. What I like about like this type of book and who the audience is aimed at is that they, they think older people have like no idea about the internet. Even even in a book released in 2020, we think the people possibly over the older than I know, fifty. Just, just like completely, and all oh, you kids and your fangled technology. It, does anyone believe that? I think people who have picked up this book, read like the first sentences, are gone. Yeah, old people, they don't know anything about technology. It just doesn't seem right to me. So that's that's the prologue. Now we're moving into the story, chapter one, where we are introduced to the first protagonist. Audrey, who has moved from America to come to study at Illaman Hall. And she describes it in the second paragraph of chapter one, a lame ass version of Hogwarts. I think we could have stopped the book there because that is exactly what Illaman Hall is. It's a crap version of Hogwarts where there's no magic. It's just full of people having no idea about anything. Or like how how anything works, and even like the tropes, it's like murder mystery. So we're gonna find out who killed Lola. That's what it's all about, and how the Magpie Society are all involved. And oh, it it's it's like it's not even like it's it's just laughable. So Audrey is sharing digs with Ivy, who's just Moody Girl One O, Moody Girl One O One. That's Ivy in a nutshell. Let's not even talk about anything else about Ivy because these two girls though though the story towards them will make you think that they're they thick as thieves they're just they're just they're just kids trying to figure out figure out a little murder they they spend no time with each other throughout they just they just they spend 
most of their lives <laughs> in this school at opposite ends, just ignoring each other. That's pretty much the big bulk of this book is just them ignoring each other. There is boyfriend trouble though. Ooh, tell me about this. Ivy has a boyfriend called Theodore, but Audrey thinks he's oh so delicious, but she doesn't know that he's seeing Ivy. And so the shenanigans begin. I mean, there's not, it's not, there's no shenanigans to beget. There are no shenanigans. I do like there is one begetted shenanigan, which is the podcast. <gasps> Who killed Lola podcast where someone in this school is making a podcast trying to figure out who killed Lola and how the students are made aware of this is during a, a assembly briefing, some may call it. The lights turn off and, and they're given a piece of paper saying, go to this website. Now, what I would like to say is, Zoella, as someone who spends a lot of time on the internet, a social media influencer, couldn't you at least have put an S at the end of HTTP? Make it a, make, just make it secure for the kids. The, who knows what would happen if you clicked on our website without that HTTPS? Come on, let's not be sloppy. Internet safety is the only safety you need. That is not, that is, they shouldn't be teaching that in school. To reiterate, I'm not the target audience of this book, but I do think it's a little bit spiteful to the audience to provide us with a 325 page book and have the plot start at page 324. You, you don't need this book. You don't need this book to understand because nothing really happened. I think maybe there's a case that something did happen, but it is so insignificant. So basically, Audrey and Ivy after ignoring each other, after hating each other, and just generally just like not wanting to be anywhere near each other, decide to, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna put their heads together. They're gonna crack this case. They're gonna find out who killed Lola. They're gonna find out who Sharpie the magpie on her for some reason. They ask Theodore, the love interest, where the shenanigans begin, to give them access with with cards, and they're gonna they're gonna their way to solve the mystery and they end up going into the laundry room the laundry room where people wash clothes and and, and one of them and one of them notices why are there so many tumble dryers but all the sheets are hanging up to dry now i don't know if this is because Zoe, and I'm going to assume this um, of Amy, that they have quite a lot of money uh, because uh, for someone who has not a lot of money, some tumble drying is like inefficient, inefficient when it comes to a bed sheet. Like it just takes up like the entire, like a cause you'd hang it up to like dry out. Like that's like, that's like, it's like, 101 of tumble drying. <laughs> like, imagine having a full boarding school and you need to wash loads of sheets and, like, dry them out. Like, you wouldn't tumble dry. You wouldn't tumble dry the, the, the duvet covers. And I don't want to say me and my wife had a good 20 minute discussion of the logistics of tumble drying a sheet, but both of us agreed inefficient. That's why the schools are not doing it. <laughs> anyway, absolutely pulled out a thin air that the tumble dryers lead to the layer, the tunnels, the I don't know, they can hear the ocean in the distance of the Magpie Society, the Magpie Society. They venture around and, and they, they they think they're going to crack the case, but they, they, they don't and they go back to their, their bunks. They go back to their bunks. This is this is the plot twist. And then one of them just forgot that they had the answer all along in their drawer. 
uh, but they were they were too busy being mean. They were too busy ignoring one another. Um, but they just forgot. I, you might think he would maybe be a bit harsh. Let's read. This this is a moment that even Sherlock Holmes would go, Duh, of course. Page 276. I can't believe Lola didn't leave something. If this really was a suicide, I mean, a note, a text, an email, just to get the record straight once and for all. Oh my God, Audrey gradually sits up straighter and straighter and almost slaps herself in the face. <laughs> no, I totally forgot. What? What is it? She scrambles around. Her <laughs> she scrambles around for her phone in amongst the sheets. Patrick Radcliffe, he told me that Lola loved to write diaries and letters and stuff. Yeah, so, well, actually, I found her. Audrey lips snap shut. I narrow my eyes. Found what? She bites her bottom lips, looking like a puppy who's been caught chewing her favourite pair of slippers. She scratches up her face. It was before you and I were friends. I kind of shoved it in my drawer and forgot about it. Oh, 276 pages to be told that. Jesus. Oh, my. So they've been farting around this Chris. <laughs> they've been, so they've been walking around this lame ass Hogwarts as Zoella and Amy Wright. And the ends was just there, and they were just like. <laughs> like, what world do we live in with this got published? And page 276 might make you just go what but th there's a lot more moments even like beyond this to just you're like why are you telling me this um such as lola has has put a poem in her in her note she says i do not stand at my grave and cry i am not there i did not die and audrey gets like really like scared about a poem and she's like it's a poem about being dead this is not okay it's like have you have you read poetry most of it's about being dead and then oh my god it's like just underneath and i forgot about this so probably because it's 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 aimed at a different a different age than myself that they they explain a lot they explain like these girls they know everything i mean they didn't know with with, with the suicide note one and ivy is Nice to say, um, it's a well-known poem. Do not stand in my grave and weep by Mary Elizabeth Fire. I can recall, oh, Mary Elizabeth Fire, like, I got you on that. Where's the suicide note? What's there? So amongst the poems, the scraps, and, and the, the, the general writings, um, there's evidence of a teacher who is abusing one of the students. And... The the outcome is that the two girls go to the teacher and go, you should leave. And the teacher goes, yeah, that's fair. And then they burn the evidence. That's that scene. We move on to the celebration. It's the celebration. They, 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 they crack the code. I won't tell you who it is. This is a murder mystery. I'm not spoiling that part of it. It's the person you think it is right at the beginning. Anyway, um... They go to the ball, so it seems, and this is the tensest part of the book. Both girls go into the ball to celebrate. I don't know why. Anyway, the Magpie Society, they turn up and they're all dressed as birds and they're, they're running around the hall for some reason. And a mirror smashes And that was really petrifying, apparently. Um, so much so that they, they're paralysed. They're paralysed that this mirror has smashed. Um, yeah. I don't know why the man... I don't know. I really don't know why... I read... I, I don't know why the, the mirror smashing was such a big deal. Um, but even the teacher comes in and goes, It's just an accident. That, that's there and that's like 20 pages towards the end and then yeah you get up to page 324 two pages from the end of the person who murdered um lola um goes to the magpie society but don't forget to for joy and there's <laughs>
Oh, that's a money-making machine. Is this a review? Not really, because I have nothing to say about it. Should you go buy the Magpie Society? Um, to summarise, it's the worst £13 I've ever spent. Um, will I buy the second one, though? Probably, knowing me, I will. Uh, because the plot started two pages before the damn end. I'm going to figure out more about the Magpie Society. Yeah, can I also say, like, it's called, like, oh, I'm sorry, the Magpie Society. Uh, no idea what the hell the Magpie Society is. Oh, they they flash mob in parties and accidentally smash a mirror. I mean, it doesn't seem like the most, it doesn't seem like the scariest thing ever. Oh, I will tell you the scariest thing that happens. And again, it's on page 325, right at the end, where Illuman Hall can be broken down to Ill Omen Hall. Dun dun dun. Save your money, kids. Save your money. Save your buy money. Buy something else. Uh, what would I rate this out of 10? <laughs> What would I rate this out of 10? I'm gonna go for a no out of 10. This is a solid, I'm not even running a number on it. This is a no out of 10. Just no. No. Oh, God, I'm 26 and I read Zoella books.